but the connections that we have are still the same no matter where we gather. So we hope to see you next week at 10 a.m. in the parking lot. Bring chairs and blankets and wear masks, please. Other announcements for our Trinity family include the blood drive. There is one on April 14th at St. Francis from 12 to 7 p.m. There is a critical shortage right now, so if that is a gift that you are able to safely give at this time, you can sign up on the Miller Keystone website, or if you have Karen Moyer's email address, you can reach out to her to schedule an appointment. The well continues to meet at home, and you are still able to order Douglas fir seedlings at $2 a piece. They will be available for pickup beginning Sunday, April 18th, um, and there are more details in the newsletter about those. It's about time to sign up for summer camp, and if you are signing your kids up for Bear Creek, please give us a call at the church. Check with Chris Kennedy for that discount code. She has that if you are registering, registering your kiddos for camp this summer. Attention recent retirees, retirement from regular employment is a big deal and your Trinity family wants to celebrate this important moment with you. Vicar Scott is planning a celebration of retirement and redirection in vocation. A ceremony is part of our Sunday worship on Sunday, May 9th. So if you retired any time in 2020 or will be retiring by June 30th of this year, please reach out to Vicar Scott to be included in that ceremony and that celebration. Weekly Bible study resumes this Tuesday on Zoom at 7 p.m. And a reminder to the youth that Sunday School and Fundoshi do not meet this week. Fundoshi is up next week and the week after, but in case you were curious about that. Birthdays this week, today, Megan Abenizio, Anna Klaus, Monday, Matthew Knobloch, Adam Knoll, Tuesday, Paul Ott, Dan Parenti, Wednesday, Mitchell Feig, Joe Purden, Terry Rothermel, Pat Stolzfus, Thursday, Jan Morneau, Kellen Orwig, and Friday, Fiona Fry, and Riley Rothermel. If you see or are connected with any of those folks, please wish them a happy birthday this week. Um, a few notes about worship this morning. Because we are together virtually, it'll be a little bit hybrid-like. We'll have some live music with us this morning, and then there will be some video portions. And we, believe it or not, we're still learning how to make all this stuff work and work as well as we can possibly get it to work. Um, so if you're watching us live on Facebook, you'll be able to watch the videos. Um, as they happen, and thanks to Billy, who's behind the scenes, he will be adjusting volume so that we'll project that as clearly as possible, but that's coming through the sound system. Um, so bear with us because there are readers of all ages this morning. Some speak more quickly than others, and some are a little more soft-spoken. Um, so bear with us, but they are each sharing their own gifts. Um, following the service, I will upload the direct videos to our Facebook page, which will allow better sound and video quality, but we thought it was important to try it this way so that we could worship and be led by our youth together. That being said, I think, yes, let's join together in singing We Are Marching in the Light of God. Good morning, friends. So We Are Marching in the Light of God is very simple to sing. We sing, we are marching in the light of God. We are marching in the light of God. We are marching, we are marching. Oh, we are marching in the light of God. And then we will shout out the different verses as we sing them. So here we go. 